Hello. <clears throat> this video is the first in a sequence of videos about using electrophilic aromatic substitution and synthesis reactions. Um, and I'm going to be uh, introducing some concepts that will help out in synthesis cases before we work on to some examples. And the first of those concepts is controlling the directing uh, groups with redox reactions. So <clears throat> One of the things that's important to note is that you have some, well, you don't have control over the directing group, directing ability of a specific group. For example, the methyl group in toluene is an ortho para director. But you do have the ability to convert that functional group into another functional group that has different directing behavior. Alkyl groups, alkyl side chains on benzene can be re, can be oxidized using chromic acid and some other oxidizing agents to carboxylic acids, which are metadirectors. And so this video is just going to highlight some examples of reactions that can be done this way. And I'm going to leave this one as the first one. And these reactions that are I'm going to highlight here in this first group are uh, on the category of difficult to reverse. Uh, I'm not saying you can't ultimately re convert uh, the carboxylic acid back into the methyl group, but it, it can't be done in one reaction. So alkyl groups and, and a whole range of alkyl groups react this way can be converted into carboxylic acids. As another example, ketones uh, and the aldehyde, which are meta directors, can be converted into alkyl groups through the Clemenson reduction. Using zinc, mercury, amalgam, and hydrochloric acid, and you get alkyl group and the alkyl group is an ortho para director. And again, uh, this can be reversed, but it can't be done in one step. You'd have to do like a radical substitute, radical halogenation, substitute with an alcohol and oxidize or something like that. And then uh, another example, this time again with the methyl group, The methyl group can be repeatedly halogenated using excess n bromosuccinamide and appropriate conditions like radical initiator, UV light, etc. Uh, we don't often talk about these types of reactions uh, in cases where we want to generate lots of, of halogen substitutions, but uh, it, it certainly can be done. And again, the, the alkyl group is an ortho para director. And the trihalo methyl group is a meta director. And then finally, oops, we have the, the nitro group. And the nitro group can be reduced using a variety of reducing agents, but like higher iron or zinc or tin and hydrochloric acid, uh, catalytic hydrogenation and so on. We reduced to the amine. And so here we're taking a meta director and converting it into an ortho para director. Um, 
I do want to just highlight that there are some options that are more easily reversible. For example, if you have the hydroxymethyl group, it can be it can be converted into the carboxylic acid using chromic acid, uh, or it can be converted into the aldehyde, right? So that, that option avail is available too using PCC. And so we take an ortho para director, we convert it into a meta director. And this can be reversed using lithium aluminum hydride following aqueous workup to regenerate the alcohol. So uh, there are ways to, that it can be done. And generally, all of the, the carbonyl groups can go through some sort of redox process that uh, will reduce them to an ortho para director, uh, and then they can be oxidized back. So this is more easily reversible. I'm not saying that it, it's it, that it's perfect, but it's at least more easily reversible. So uh, it, what I'm hoping you get out of this video is some understanding that you know if you need like <clears throat> if you've been asked to synthesize this compound from benzene, you know, and it's got two ortho para directors on it. Uh, you might feel a little bit stumped how to get there, but if you remember that the amine can be made from the nitro group, and the nitro group is a meta director, nitro group is a meta director, then there now is a sensible way forward. You could put you know, you could brominate nitrobenzene and nitrate benzene. And so this, of course, is all in the reverse order, but it gives you an idea of how uh, H2SO4 and we brominate, right? So if we put a nitro group on there first, that puts in the nitrobenzene. The nitro group is a meta director, right? So that directs the incoming bromine to the meta position, and then you can reduce the, the nitro group to, to the aniline and have you know what looks like two ortho para directors meta to each other. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how to achieve ortho substitution, uh, which if you remember the video on ortho para directors, para is usually preferred for steric reasons, and I'm going to give you a way around that. Thank you for watching.